How's it going everyone? Today I have a stucco inspection and on this one particularly the outside was like freshly patched and painted. The neighbor's house is pretty messed up and the, the next door neighbor's house looks a little messed up. The home inspector did a home inspection on this and said hey you probably want to have the stucco further looked at and then they called me. So I brought all my fancy tools, did an intrusive testing and let me walk you over some of the problems I found. All right, let's go check it out. One of the first signs that the home inspector recommended for a stucco inspection is he noticed that there was some moisture intrusion through the outlet. And so that was one of the signs that he was like, hey, your exterior cladding appears to be leaking. You should probably have a intrusive test completed. One of the next signs is, is you could kind of see some bulging in the window seal here as well. And I don't know if the camera lighting will do it. You can barely see it with your eyes, but you have some water lines right here. That was the next sign that the, the home inspector recommended for, the, for a stucco intrusive testing. One of the next signs was the, the cracking through the stucco right here. And you can kind of see the, the bulging of the stucco. Uh, this was the next sign that the, the, stucco the home inspector recommended the stucco inspection to be completed. And one of the final signs about the stucco was you can see the deck flashing is starting to rust through and they've been patching it a lot with some caulking around the base. You shouldn't have to caulk this flashing really at all. And uh, this was like his final conclusion. He's like, hey, you really want to get this done. Okay, so that put me here. Uh, one of the very first things that I like to do whenever I approach a stucco inspection is I actually just stand outside and I look at it for a while. I just stand outside and I just think about how the water's gonna move across the stucco, how, what does the overhangs look like, transitions, penetration points, and I just sit there and just evaluate it. I'll sit there and just look at it for 10 minutes and just stare use my binos, look at it from top to bottom. And then on this one particular, I even had to use my drone to get on top to look at the, uh, the top uh, stucco piece there, the roofing, and then I'll look along the edges here. Uh, let's further evaluate it. Okay, so starting from really kind of like the top to bottom, one of the first things that I noticed on the exterior pass, let's follow the laser pointer here, and I followed it up, and I noticed that there's this little lip in the stucco. So, and then I noticed this, this flashing was sticking out a little bit. And then I kind of just followed the line down and you can see right here, there's a rust stain and, and a little bit of bulge. With stucco, the only way rusting and bulging can happen is the metal lathe behind the stucco starts to rust and swell. So we can easily write this up without even doing any penetration testing by reaching the ladder all the way up there. We just say, hey, you have you have moisture issues behind the stucco here and this is an area that you're going to want to have repaired and you want to think about how water travels so it's obviously coming from the top here and traveling down through this area and causing an issue in this location. So the next area is right here you can kind of see this is probably going to mirror just exactly what's up top too as well. You can see the, the separation in the, in the trim board and the stucco and you have the hole here and then there's a little crack in the uh, the roofing here so an easy area for water to travel down to as well but you actually have two different colors of stucco so this is obviously signs that they're patching and painting in these areas where uh, they've had stucco issues in the past this next area is pretty easy I mean it's self-explanatory but you know some people don't know so you have the water staining here and you have the cracking and that's a pretty larger than typical crack. We did drill, but we use color matching caulking. It's kind of hard to see. It's right there. Um, but we got an 80% reading of moisture in this area. And then also I did a moisture test right here below the, the flashing where you can see where they're using two different types of caulking and no kick out flashing in this area. And you can see uh, we actually had a 90 or 88 percent reading there as well so we do have active moisture reaching into the stucco causing cracking bulging and damage go with the stucco i'm just going to do it from the ground outside i'll overlap some photos but they did a they didn't they poorly installed a lot of bolts around the stucco and you can see the water 
that lines and you just really just follow the water lines so we followed the water lines along the stucco and right in this area they had no substrate anymore no substrate the water lines coming through and then you can see that there was some rust stains on the overhead flashing because the top of these EPS bands there is the caulking is um, missing so it's just running down behind these bands and rusting out the overhead header flashing so definitely recommended for repair in both of these areas around the decks and then the lower flashing around the decks too as well I recommended to remove and replace it all so definitely I uh, need to fix the decks that's the primary source of where all the moisture intrusion is so part of one of my initial evaluations of looking at the stucco you know I actually look at the neighbors the same people that built these homes are all the same builder right so if your home if your neighbor's home or the home you're about to put an offer in looks like this and yours looks like this you want to start asking why did they they didn't even disclose any issues and you can see the the staining here on their stucco and um, along the base here you have two different colors so they obviously have moisture issues in this area they've had issues here they've all they've tried to repair and replace they removed all the bands on on the stucco too as well also issues in the same areas that this stucco is having in issues another sign over here too as well in the neighbor's home you can kind of see the rust color on the stucco but actually on this adhered veneer stone avs you can kind of see the didn't do a very good job at putting a overhead flashing on this lip and you actually have some discoloration on this AVS. This white color, this staining, that is called efflorescence and efflorescence means that the moisture is actually wicking through the wall, the minerals. So you're actually having, they know they have moisture intrusion on this stucco too, or not stucco, AVS, but it's installed practically just like stucco. So we have moisture intrusion on the neighbors too as well. So, you know, just look around at the properties around you, the same people that built this home, built this home, and you're going to probably mirror the, mirror the same issues of this stucco, even with a fresh coat of paint. I know that was really quick. Um, but if y'all have any uh, questions about stucco, drop in the comment section. Or if you sell anything else or any repair recommendations, please throw in the comment section so we all can learn together and uh, grow this industry. Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, if you like these types of videos, please hit the like and subscribe and stay tuned for the Chris Talk. Okay, so today's Chris Talk, what I'm going to cover is, is a lot of people think that a lot of home inspectors think that it's these tools that we carry and we walk around with that makes it what people want to buy home inspections from us. And actually, it's like this in all industries. They, you, whenever you're the technician, you get this thing like an infrared camera or uh, a moisture meter or a new fancy computer. They think that is the reason. That's going to be the bright and shiny thing that actually makes you stronger in this business. But it's not. Uh, you got to remember, you got to try to put yourselves in the the client's shoes. The client knows nothing. Most clients know nothing about the actual construction of a home. They don't know what tools you need or what type of non-intrusive uh, tools that helps you discover items. They know nothing. So what helps sell home inspections? You know that it's not these bright and shiny things that we think are the reasons why they buy home inspections. It's pure and simple. It's actually just customer service. Having a good communication path between you and the client, a good communication path between you and the agents, and then being able to clearly describe your findings in a, in a well-read and written report. Those are the minimum. You know, everything else above that, of course, it's going to help you, but that is not the reason why they buy home inspections. It's purely customer service. So if you have great customer service, you have great people skills, everything else is extra. So that is uh, Chris's Chris Talk with this home inspection video. If you like these types of videos, please hit the like and subscribe button and catch us on the next one. Thanks guys, bye.